Coming off their best season in program history, the North Central men's soccer team was not at all complacent heading into their 2022 campaign. For them, this year was all about going above and beyond the new heights of last year. Last year we had 18 wins, uh, won the first uh, conference tournament ever, uh, made, uh, made the NCAA tournament, tournament for the first time ever. So, you know, you want to repeat what you did last year good and you want to improve on a few things. So one of the things was, uh, you know, winning a conference regular season uh, tournament, which we hadn't done in, uh, in about 30 years almost, and, and then make it past uh, the first round of the NCAA tournament. Almost the entirety of the roster returned, with the team having had no senior starters last season. That continuity has allowed the team to build and grow without interruption, both on and off the field, as they push each other to strive for greater success. I think the attitude of this team is really good. Like, everybody works hard, and I think that's the key to everything, is everybody's determined to work, especially with a large roster that we have. Everybody's competitive, fighting for spots, either that be on the reserve squad or the first team. Um, that's really the base of it, and I think it correlates to our success. Supplementing that experienced roster was an impressive incoming class, as four freshmen would go on to make at least 10 starts and 20 total appearances. Before long, they were on the same page with their teammates despite having known them only days and weeks rather than months and years. Well, one of the special traits of this group is that they're very welcoming. Uh, there's no jealousies. I mean, everybody competes. Everybody pushes each other for spots, but they all compete and they all respect, you know, what the, um, the roles are uh, on the team. Uh, Daniel Navarro, I've been, you know, I've known him for a while. He, he's got a very strong soccer IQ. And, uh, and uh, again, I've seen him for a long time, so I knew what he could do. Uh, the other three, uh, the Italians, did not see them. I just saw them on film. But, you know, being Italian myself, I'm very familiar with the level they, they, they played at in Italy. So I knew they played at a pretty high level over there. So I knew they would, that they would come in. And once they get adjusted, either a little more direct, a little more physical, a little faster, once they get used to it, they're, they're very good players and they make an impact. And, and they did. So I had the option to go to different schools, but once I talked with the coach, once I informed myself about the school, the academic level, the project on the soccer side of it, I thought it was a good, uh, a good match, and uh, indeed it was. Uh, I feel immediately comfortable. The team helped me a lot. All the freshmen well was uh, welcome immediately, and so I'm so happy to be here. I do have a little bit more of an extra eye on them. Um, I mean, I had. All-American Giant Kramer on the other side of me um, that, you know, I didn't have to worry too much because he's a veteran. But with those guys, I do tend to have an extra eye. But I also let them get comfortable in their space um, to know what the college game is like. Because when I played last year, it was my first season. I got a rude awakening a few times. And I was like, OK, this is, this is college soccer. And that's something I don't want to take away from them and like um, shield them from. Um, they got to experience it firsthand, and I think they've done a really great job this year. So I think it's mainly because of the team that helped us and gave us confidence, even if we are freshmen, and even the coach. The coach also immediately gave us um, confidence, even if we are the youngest players. And I think that once you play one, two matches, then you don't feel any, any pressure, and you just feel comfortable in the field. Innocenti was one of four Italian freshmen on this year's team, as he, Jacopo De Calibus, and Eduardo Bonifacio all played major roles. The fact that they weren't adjusting to a new country and a new way of playing alone certainly eased their transition into both college and the team. We had difficult moments in the beginning because American soccer is so different from European soccer, so we had to adapt. And of course, talking with each other about it, giving, giving each other some advice, we went through it quicker I guess and uh, much better. It's kind of it's kind of amusing because it's much more um, transitional you know it's less tactical less defensive so it gives you the opportunity to have more space to be more creative and for my style of play is quite enjoyable to be honest. On the field the Cardinals picked up where they left off last year and kept climbing. They went undefeated in the regular season, amassing a record of 14 wins and four draws to win the CCIW regular season title for the first time since 1994. For their efforts to make such a season possible, Bonifacio, De Calibus, Innocenti, Mark Ward, and Aiden Westerberg were all named to the CCIW first team. 
while Jack Fairwood, Daniel Navarro, and Aloy Nabizzi made the second team. Additionally, Westerberg was named CCIW Player of the Year and Mark Ward CCIW Defensive Player of the Year. They played for each other so much, uh, they were dedicated to each other so much. And, and I could see that in practice, I could see that, you know, on a daily uh, basis. You know, when you do that, you know that good things will happen. Honestly, it's a collective effort. I can't do it without the 10 guys in front of me out there on the field, including the guys on the sidelines. Um, I really think of myself as just a piece of the whole. Um, nothing, nothing more, nothing less, because um, it is a team sport. It's 11 guys against another 11. Um, but, I mean, it comes with responsibilities, there's a lot of pressure, you can't mess up, and there's times that that happens, but um, you just got to persevere through that. Well, of course, of course, I'm, I'm happy about it, but I think it's a matter of hard work being paid off, because I think this year maybe be me, but I'm sure that next year is going to be other guys, because everybody's working so hard, and everybody deserves the, what we achieve, and uh, even more. So. Of course, I'm happy about it, and it's just a good reason to continue the hard work. After making it a conference double with wins over Carthage and North Park to capture their second straight CCIW tournament crown, the Cardinals returned to the NCAA Division III Men's Soccer Championship by hosting the University of Wisconsin Superior. After the Yellow Jackets canceled out Westerberg's opening goal, they looked to have won the game in the 86th minute. But somehow, the Cardinals turned it around. Two goals in the 89th minute, first by Haziel Enriquez, and then by, of all people, freshman defender Daniel Navarro gave the Cardinals a victory no one who saw it will ever forget. I've been coaching for 20 plus years. I thought I'd seen it all, uh, but there was, there was a first, and I don't think I can describe what I felt in those last two minutes. It was just uh, incredible. Um, you know, so words cannot describe how, how I felt, you know, seeing Navarro put in that third goal in with a minute left in the game and two goals in, in uh, less than a minute. And uh, you know, I didn't know Danny was that fast until that goal. And when he ran 18 to 18, he sprinted 18 to 18 and he just wanted so bad. Uh, but that tells you, you know, a lot about this group. You know, this group is uh, relentless, is the, you know, the resiliency of this group, it's fantastic. They never quit, uh, they just kept going, they kept believing. Honestly, when Hazi scored, it was, unbelievable to me. I didn't have the chance to go and celebrate with them down in the corners. I was just like wowed and I was like wow okay we actually have a chance here. Um, maybe take them to overtime but you know that kind of all changed with uh, obviously a few seconds later with our big freshman uh, center back making the way um, and that is probably the single greatest game that I've been a part of my entire life. I always had the feeling that we are a team that never dies so when we considered the second goal I'm not going to say that I was confident to win, but I was confident that we could get a goal and to take it to the overtime. But when I saw the last action Navarro sprinting uh, last minute, I was, we have to score this one. And we did. I never lost like faith. Like, I still believe like we still were going to get one more chance and we still had one more opportunity. And we got that goal from Hazi and that was very important. And then. The last goal, I think I've watched it probably like a hundred times. Just the fact that our center back, our freshman center back, last minute of the game, breakaway against the goalie was, that was crazy. The first goal of that game was the cherry on top of a remarkable season for Westerberg, in which he became the first All-American in North Central men's soccer history. I mean, it means a lot. It's a good award to get uh, for recognition for my hard work during the season and in the off season. And, I mean, I could have done it without my teammates. And also this year, I think we had a better roster. So players around me definitely helped me like achieve my full potential and just play better because they feed me the balls and help me just play better. I remember when I recruited Aiden, I was at a D1 school ID camp and I saw this guy, blonde curly hair, that was just uh, kicking butt out there. And I asked the the, the, the home coach, say, hey, he's a, if, they were interested in him and he said, we were, but we're not anymore. So I said, well, I am. So I got his number, called him, and he was one of my fastest commitments that I had a year. Forwards live for goals. When you don't get goals, it gets in your head. And I knew that once he got that goal, first goal, he was gonna, and, and that happened. So once he scored the first goal, you know, the, the floodgates opened and, and he started scoring and uh, um, some big goals as well, and a very important goal. So 
I'm not surprised at all. He also knows that it's the whole team effort, it's not just him. So, you know, in my heart, you know, we got one All-American, but in my heart, we got uh, 11 All-Americans. After giving their all to win their first ever NCAA tournament game, the Cardinals were bested the following night in overtime by St. Olaf College. It wasn't the way they hoped the year would end, but they've kept the perspective that they accomplished what they set out to do. Next year, the goal will be the same as it was this season, go even higher. I think we've showed this year and last year that we're capable of playing against many of the top teams and that we should be considered one of the top programs in D3 soccer. Um, yeah, I think next year one of our goals is just to go further in the NCAA tournament and I think we showed that we're capable of that. I recently just said that we have set a standard here now um, and I'm really proud of being the start of that and I think it's something that the younger players, uh, especially the freshmen, understand now being in one season and I will carry that on to the next um, generation that comes through. We don't want to be the Cinderella anymore but we want to be a, a regular, um, you know, team that, that, that every year fights for conference championships and, uh, and uh, makes the NCAA tournament. And, and definitely one goal for next year is to you know, make it further in the NCAA tournament, Sweet 16 at least. But now it's, it's the, the, the more difficult task uh, starts because now you got to stay on, on, on the national stage, right? So we cannot uh, just sit back and, and uh, you know, rely on, on, uh, on the reputation we got, you know, so now uh, it's going to be tougher because more people are going to be uh, uh, targeting us. You know, we got a bigger target on our back. You know, we have a saying in Italian is that you know when you're on top, you might get a headache and uh, and your head's going to spin. We're sure that we don't get that and we're used to it. We succeeded on our goals this year of going past the first game. Now let's get past the second game and so forth. Um, those just keeping those standards um, and making sure that we're known as a powerhouse here in D3 soccer.